So in this lecture, we're really briefly going to cover how to set up shipping and how to connect your bank account so that you can get paid. And we're also going to cover how to link a specific page and how to change your pages in and out so that you can connect a shop to a number of different pages, depending on which one you want to switch it to and depending on which niche you want to have. For example, like let's say you start out in the, I don't know, like the football fan niche or whatever. And you were, you're selling like football cards or something like that, or you're selling football gear. This is just the first thing that popped in my mind. And for whatever reason, you don't think that any of the products are hitting or you're just not building the audience. Well, what you can do is you can change the products in the back end of your TikTok shop and then build a brand new page around a completely new niche and then switch that out and link it to the new page, right? And you can keep doing this trial and error until you find one that hits or one that you like or one that works for you, right? So the way that you do that is you go to my account and then you go to linked accounts. And then from there, you can link your specific account and you can also unlink your specific account to a brand new account, right? Now you only get to do this a total of four times. So make sure you don't use this unless you're sure that you wanna switch your niche, right? Or unless you're sure that you wanna switch it to a new account. But you can unlink and link to a brand new account four times in the beginning. So utilize that to your advantage. So that's how you link an account, my account, linked accounts, and then you can link and unlink your account. Again, you can only use that four times. Now, if you're going to marketing accounts, if for whatever reason you want to start running ads to your products in the future, then you can go to marketing accounts right here and then link your TikTok ad account directly from here and start running ads that way. Now, if you want to connect your bank account so you can get paid, obviously, well, then you want to go to finances here. And then you want to go to payments and then from there you'll see manage my bank account and then from there you can just input your bank account after they send you the verification email or the verification code to your phone so that's how you set up your bank account that's how you set up your linked accounts within that that's how you can set up your TikTok ad account linked to your TikTok shop if you want to promote products in the future now if you want to set up your shipping templates you go to shipping then you go to shipping options and then you can come down here and decide whether you want to ship with the platform shipping label so for example if you're gonna every single time like let's say you have your own inventory and you want to use the TikTok label then you want to check off shipped via platform and pick which ones that you want available to you right are you planning on shipping through USPS UPS or FedEx or on the other hand are you just directly drop shipping to the customer in which case you would say ship by seller down here and then you would set up express shipping or economy shipping if you wanted to upcharge them. I've just been going with standard shipping across the board because that's the easiest. It's one to five days. You also want to make sure that you set your order processing time down here to three days because in the beginning, I didn't realize that I had it set to one day and then TikTok would ding me every single time I wouldn't get a shipping. And then TikTok would ding me every single time I wouldn't get a tracking number in there that started tracking within that day, right? So even if you drop it off at the post office or even if you input the tracking number, but it's not actually moving or in transit yet, they'll ding you for that thinking that you haven't actually processed the order and got it out in time. So always make sure that this is set to three days. I haven't seen any negative consequences to setting your shipping time or your processing time a little bit longer. And often people in the app don't even see that. So that's the basics of how to set up your shipping options. Again, if you just want a blanket template, you can set up the template in shipping templates. But if you want to pick out your specific carriers or the specific economy shipping, standard shipping, or express shipping that you want, then you want to go to shipping options and then select those. 